Hello and welcome to Authentic Driving Podcast. My name is Abia Sonia and today we are going to be talking about a topic called Just Start. Yes, Just Start. You might be wondering, what is Just Start? There are a lot of people that have not started to leave. They're just surviving. They're just surviving, waking up, sleeping, waking up, eating, sleeping, and doing the normal modern things. And they are not making any difference in their life. They are just so dragged into things of this world, the routines of this world, that they are not doing what they are supposed to be doing. You might be asking, what am I supposed to be doing? You tell me. I believe that each and every one of us was created for a purpose. So what is your purpose? Your purpose might be to impart the life of children. Your purpose might be to invent something that will be a solution to someone's problem. Your purpose might be to create something that will help us have a better lease of life. Your purpose is your purpose. It is unique to you. What is your purpose? Find your purpose and just start. Start already. There are people that are living the best fashion of their life because of things that have been true, some personal traumas that have been true. That was not your fault. And even if you feel guilty or you feel ashamed about the things that have happened in your life, you can still live a better version of yourself. So to you, I say just that. Are you someone that started a business and everything came crumbling? And so now you are full of regrets. You are really upset with yourself for not making a good financial judgment. I would say stop already and just start, start living your life. Are you someone that invested so much in that job? You invested so much in that career, your time, your dedication, your efforts and everything. And at the end of the day, perhaps you were made redundant. I would say just start leaving, start leaving and dig deep to find your repurpose in life. Are you a mother that, is, that left a job to look after her children and now you feel discouraged? You feel discouraged because you feel you're just doing the mundane things of dropping and picking your children from school. You're not doing much with yourself. To you, I will say, just start, start leaving. Start leaving. The fact that you're looking after your children, the fact that you're a homemaker, does not mean you're not living a purpose. Your purpose may just be to look after your children. But remember, it's not going to be forever. Your children are not going to be children forever. Moreover, you can also do other things as you are looking after your children. You can do other things that will not take you away from your children. You only need to dig deeper. You only need to really, really find out what is your purpose. What are the things that you're passionate about? What are the things that you're so passionate about that keep you awake in the night? What are the things that you see there's a problem somewhere? You have a solution for it. You are perfect to facilitate that solution. That that might just be your purpose. I had someone who got into a relationship, got married, and at the end of the day, it did not work out. And because of that, you feel everything has been destroyed. Everything has been ruined. I would say stop already and just start. Start leaving. Start living your life. Because that might just be a learning experience. It doesn't have to define you. We need to stop allowing our situation to define us. Allowing our situation put it, become a stumbling block to our purpose, to our life journey. We need to stop allowing life events that are within or without our control to define how we then live our life, to define who we become, 
to define how we react to things, we need to start leaving. We need to just start. We need to start leaving. There are different people. Have you had a loss? Have you lost a child? Have you lost something that is so precious to you? And because of that, you are there just regretting. Regretting what you could have done to have wrecked that situation. To you, I would say, take time to go through your grief. Process it. But you have to start leaving again. Just that. It doesn't matter what you are going through. I'm not here to go through all the list of things, different mishap that go through in one's life. But I'm here to tell you, we've all had our fair share of this thing called life. We've all had our share of situations that did not go well, situations that tried to stop us, but you mustn't allow it. You need to start leaving. You need to start thriving consistently. You need to just start. You might be saying it easier said than done. Believe me, I've been through my own fair share in the areas of career, the areas of business, in the areas of bereavement, in different areas that you can talk about. I have been through my own fair share. But you know what? Those things made me more resilient because I choose to allow the situation around me not to become who I am, but I know who I am. The situation is not going to define me. Instead, I choose to learn from it. I choose how I process it. I choose to just learn and not allow them to define me. You too can do that. You may be asking, how did you get over all of those things? How did you get over all the blows that life has dealt with you? The first thing was my spirituality. Your spirituality, I'm not trying to sell you any faith. I'm just saying your spirituality. My spirituality is based on my Christian values. And that was my anchor base. That was my foundation. When I was able to reconnect back to my source, I realized that no, I am made in the likeness and in the image of my creator. So because of that, I can overcome whatever it is that this life is going to throw at me. I choose to learn from those experiences. I choose to get the message and progress because whatever mess I was in, whatever life has thrown at me, became my message, became my messages. So I don't know what you're going through right now, but I'm telling you, you need to go back and reconnect to your source. Reconnect back to your source because when you reconnect back to your source, you cannot be judged. Your source cannot judge you. Your source will not judge you. There is grace always available to you. The second thing, I went back to my purpose. I went back and I, I started thinking, why am I even here? What was I created for? What are the things that I'm passionate about? What are the things that kept me awake in the night? What are the things that I see, the problems that I see around, that I know that I can be a solution to? I went back to dig deep. This is why I became a life coach and now a counselor in training. This is why I went back to all of those things to help me actualize my purpose. Because I know I already have all of these things in me. Is it the coaching skills? Is it the counseling skills? However, I needed it to be fine-tuned. That was why I went out there to get the certifications, to get the training, and to do it in a legal way, in a way that people that I'm going to be serving, people that I am serving, will get the best. They will be transforming their mind, body, soul, and spirit. So what is your purpose? Why don't you find us that thing? Go on that journey. Get to know you. If you can have time to get to know other people, how often do you get to know yourself? How often do you study yourself? How often do you become self-aware that you know yourself really well? You know your purpose, you know your why, and then you create your belief and your values around these things to ensure that they are in alignment. You may ask, what else did I do? I found a mentor. 
have mentors. Now, the mentors, you don't have to physically know your mentors. You can get books of the people that you admire. You can attend the programs of people that you admire. For example, Ibukua Wushika admire so much. She's a woman that is spiritually grounded, intellectually grounded, emotionally stable, maritally stable, financially stable, a relationship. You know, she's someone that values relationship in a lot about the power of community. So her values are my, and, her, and her beliefs are so much in alignment with mine. So when I hear that her programs are coming up, I buy into it when I can. I listen to her videos on YouTube. She's mentoring me like that. Do you know you don't have to physically be in the presence of your mentor? Yes, I paid into a program, into a community. I bought into a program where I had people mentoring me. I have the people like Larry and Lucia mentoring me. I have other people as well that I may not necessarily meet, like Priscilla Shire. She is one of my mentors. I admire that lady because of us, you know, how grounded she is spiritually. Joyce Mayer is another of my mentor. I may never meet these people, but their resources are readily available. Their films, their books, their materials on YouTube, their books on Audible. What is your excuse? You need to find someone that can mentor you. Someone that can mentor you in the areas that you've identified that there is a gap in your life. So you don't have to start looking for mentors around physically. If you can't get one, but if you can't get their resources, get your book. Because if they see you face to face, they are still going to give you the same resources anyway. So those are the things that I did. And then I built a strong support system around me. A strong support system that are there for you because they genuinely care about you. They genuinely care about your, pur your purpose. And I also, I'm a right support system to them as well. So you need to find a support system irrespective of the things that have gone wrong in your life. You need to start leaving. You need to just start. Start leaving. Because you deserve it. Do not allow the situations around you to find who you are. Build a, join a community, apart from finding a mentor, join a community of people with like mind. Because what happens, you hear the stories of other people, you get inspired. You hear the stories of other people and then you get motivated to keep going because you look at them, you're like, if this person has been through X, Y, Z and they are prospering and they are choosing to let go and be a better version of themselves, I can draw from this strength and do the same. So you get inspired, you get motivated, not just get in the buzz, ooh, I'm inspired, I'm motivated, no, but take action. You get inspired, you get motivated to take action, to become a better version of yourself. And also you learn to regulate your emotion. I learned to regulate my emotions. Before, I think I used to be very reactive, but now, no, I'm not. I'm very, very intuitive now. I've learned to trust my intuition. I've learned to take a step back and just observe sometimes. I've learned to realize that it's not every table you are invited to, you have to attend. I've learned to create my own table without waiting for people to invite me to a table that they've created. I've learned to stand on my own two feet and realize that sometimes I will need some people because no one is an island of itself. I've learned to be by myself and learn to be around people. I've learned to realize that when people react to you, sometimes it's not about you. It's about them. It's about what they are going through, that they are projecting on you. I realized that not everybody will be my own cup of tea and I will not be everybody's cup of tea. I realized that it's not always about me. It's also about my purpose. It's also about other people as well. I realized to always support people and support your cause. So you need to find a purpose, anchor those things, anchor into them. A community where people of like mind, you need to buy into it, you need to join them, you need to fight a good cause that will make you feel fulfilled from the inside. What other things cannot give you, just feel fulfillment because you are doing that wish you are made to do. So whatever it is, that has stopped you. I'm here to tell you, never let it define you. Nothing good in life 
comes easy. Everything has a price. Well, you can decide if it's easy because create a mindset. Create that mindset that as long as I am involved in this, I choose to see it as easy. I choose to make it easy. I always tell people I have fun in everything that I do. In my work, in my business, as a mother, as a wife, as a friend, I just have fun. I learn to have fun. I make everything that I do fun. And as a result of that, even while I'm working, I'm having fun. Even while I'm doing business, I'm having fun. Even while I'm parenting, I'm having fun. So you don't have to wait until that time where you have to let your head down. You can have fun every day of your life. So what is it going to be? Are you going to keep on existing or are you going to start leaving? Are you going to start leaving and then start thriving? Are you going to start thriving and then start thriving consistently and also get other people to thrive with you? Because it is, it is very, very lonely at the top. So as you're pulling yourself up, Take others with you as well that are willing to go with you on that journey. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, I am Abia Sonia on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and also on YouTube. I do upload my podcast to YouTube as well. And also on Clubhouse, I'm a.sonia. Thank again. Thank you so much again. <laughs> I said thank. Thank you so much again for joining me. And remember, focus on your strengths, for that is where your superpower lies, not in your weaknesses. Take care now and bye.